हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू होल नंबर्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विल नॉट रिप्रेजेंट जीरो हेर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन फोर पार्ट्स एंड वी हैव टू चेक बाय सॉल्विंग दीज फोर पार्ट्स विच ऑफ दैम विल नॉट रिप्रेजेंट जीरो द आंसर ऑफ विच ऑफ विच वन ऑफ दैम इज नॉट जीरो तो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द ए पार्ट इन योर ए पार्ट दे हैव गिवन वन प्लस जीरो When when we are going to add one and zero, what we will get? We will get one. Similarly, in the B part, we will they have given zero plus zero. When we will add zero with zero, the answer is always zero. C part C part is zero upon two zero divided by two. Whenever we are dividing zero with any number, the answer is always zero because zero is never divided with any number. Next is D. they have given 10 minus 10 divided by 2 so first of all before dividing 10 minus 10 with 0 we are going to solve this 10 minus 10 we are going to there is a subtraction sign between these two numbers first we are going to subtract them then only we will divide our answer our product with 2 so let us subtract 10 minus 10 we know that it will be 0 and 0 divided by 2 is always 0 as you have checked in your c part so according to our question they were asking which of them will not represent zero so the correct answer is a part when we will add 1 plus 0 the answer is 1 it is not zero so let, now let us come to the question number 2 question number 2 is if the product of two whole numbers is zero can we say can we say that one or both of them will be zero justify through examples so here we have to check the whenever the two whole numbers are multiplied and we get the answer zero so we have to check either one of them should be zero or both of them should be zero so the answer will be one of them is definitely zero one of them is definitely zero so let us check with the examples here they have asked us to explain with the help of examples suppose if i am multiplying any number i am taking the number as 2 this is a non zero number non zero number means the number which is not zero so this is a non zero number i am multiplying it with zero so what we will get zero it means when we are multiplying any non zero number with zero the answer is always zero that's why i have written that one of them is definitely zero one of them should be definitely zero now if i multiply any two whole numbers any two non zero whole numbers i am multiplying 5 uh, with 6 when i will multiply these two whole numbers i will get 5 into 6 will be 30 so when i have multiplied the two non zero numbers i have not get the product at zero that's why it will be wrong and if in case i will multiply zero with zero if i am multiplying both zeros then what will i get i will get the answer as zero so the correct answer for this question question number 2 is that one of them should be definitely zero the product will only be zero if one of them is definitely zero and if both of them are non zero then we will never get the product as zero now let's come to our question number 3 in a question in the question number 3 they are asking if the product of two whole numbers is 1 this time the product of two whole numbers is 1 can we say that one or both of them will be zero justify through examples we have to check when we are multiplying two whole numbers remember that they are asking about the two whole numbers when we are multiplying them the answer is 1 now we have to check that either one of them will be zero or both of them will be will, sorry one of them will be one or both of them will be one let us check answer the product will be one if both of them will be one both of them will be one let us check with the help of example if i will multiply again i am multiplying 2 with 1 if i am multiplying any whole number with 1 what will i get i will get the answer i will the product will be the same whole number 
you already know when we are multiplying any whole number with one the on the answer is always that whole number suppose if i multiply uh, one with one what will i get one so it means when the product will be one if we will multiply both the whole numbers if we will mul uh, multiply two one and if in case i will take the whole number another whole number as in, uh, which will not be one then the product will not be one so it means whenever we are the product will be only one if we will multiply two one two times one next question question number 4 the question is find using distributive property you already know how to solve the questions with the help of distributive property here they have given some parts the first part is 728 multiply by 101 before solving this part i am just going to write the distributive property the distributive property says x multiply y plus z is equals to x multiply by y plus x multiply by z as you all as you all are able to see whenever we the distributive property will be applied if we are having three whole numbers in our question but in this a part or in the remaining parts we will be having only two whole numbers we have to make them three it means we have to break we have to expand any one whole number so i am just writing down the writing down this part 728 multiply by 101 as i have told you in my previous exercise when i was explaining this distributive property whenever you are breaking any number try to break the number in the terms of 100 or in the terms of 10 the first number is 728 it is a larger number it will be difficult for us to break the second number is 101 it will be easier for us to break this number 728 multiply by 101 will be 100 plus one so this time we have got three whole numbers the first number is 728 this will be your x the second number is 100 this will be your y the third number is your 1 this will be your z so we have to solve it we have to find out its value so we are going to expand it we are going to write it into this form x multiplied by y plus x multiplied by z so let us start first i am going to multiply 728 with 100 plus now i am going to multiply 728 with 1 according to board mass rule first of all we are going to solve the multiplication operation 728 multiply by 100 will be 72800 plus 728 multiply by 1 will be 728 now let us add them the answer will be 73500 28 so this is your this is the answer of your a part here we have used the distributive property to get our answer now let us start with the b part the b part is 5437 multiply by 1001 again we have to use the distributive property to solve this part again we are going to do the same we are going to break any one number i am going to break 1001 because it will be easier for us to solve it 1000 plus 1 now let us expand it Five four three seven multiply by one thousand plus five four three seven multiply by one. Now, first of all, we are going to solve the multiplication operation. Five four three seven double zero plus five four three seven multiply by one will be five four three seven. Let us add them. When we will add these two numbers, we will get seven three. Four, two, four, four, five. So your answer is fifty-four lakh forty-two thousand four hundred thirty-seven. Now let's come to the C part. The C part is eight hundred twenty-four multiplied by twenty-five. In our previous part, the numbers were very simple. We were getting, we were having either hundred one or one thousand one, and it was easier for us to break them. We were able to break them into the terms of hundred or into the terms of thousand. But this time, the number is twenty-five. So how we are going to break it? And you know that for using the distributive property, we need th three whole numbers. That's why we have to break any one number. So eight hundred twenty-four multiply. I am going to break this number twenty-five into two parts. This time I am going to write it as twenty plus five. 
as i have told you earlier whenever you are breaking a number try to break it into the terms of 10 100 so that you will get more and more zeros but this time we are not able to break this number if you i if i want to break it in the terms of 100 it will be 100 minus something uh, some larger number two digit number and it will be difficult for us to solve that's why i'm going to break this 25 as 20 plus 5 now again let us use the distributive property 824 multiply by 20 plus 824 multiply by 5 first i am going to solve the multiplication operation we will get 16480 plus 824 multiply by 5 will be 4120 now let us add them the answer is 20600 now let us come to the d part the d part is uh, 4275 multiply by 125 again we are, we have to use the distributive property so i am going to break any one number this time again i am going to break 125 i am going to write it as 100 plus 25 again i have broken this number into the terms of 100 and again i have expanded it into the terms of 100 now let us multiply 4275 multiply by 100 plus 4275 multiply by 25 again we are going to solve the multiplication operation this number when multiply by 100 we will get 4275000 plus 4275 multiply by 25 will be 106875 106875 now let us add them we will get 5343375 so the answer of the d part is 5,34,375 now let us come to the last part of this question e part of this question again we are having two numbers 504 multiply by 35 here this time you can break uh, 504 also you can break this number also you can write it as 500 plus 4 or uh, you can break 35 you can write it as 30 plus 5 you can break any one number again i am going to break 35 i am going to write it as 30 plus 5 it will be again same first of all 504 will be multiplied with 30 plus 504 multiplied with 5 when uh, we are multiplying 504 with 30 we will get 15120 similarly when we will multiply 504 with 5 we will get 2520 2520 and at last our answer is 17600 So that's all for today here we have completed our exercise thank you